Kouder Stan. Let's talk about something quite serious, and that is your unit's first aid kit. These are essential tools for any scouting activity. In scouting, we have to be prepared for emergencies. We do everything we can to prevent emergencies, but we have to be prepared. Now, there are many different components to a first aid kit. In scouting, as a troop, scouts, BSA, as they do troop activities, the scouts are expected to have their own personal first aid kit in their own equipment. And this is important when they're hiking or camping or doing activities that they may scratch themselves or may need a Band-Aid. These minor injuries, this type of first aid kit, may have some gauze pads in there, some tape, moleskin, things like that. And the troop often will have, the troop or crew will often have first aid supplies for minor injuries. Now the unit will have in their first aid kit serious injury supplies such as splints, quick clotting gauze, Israel bandage, uh, vented chest shields, things like that. So these are the general things that would be in your unit's first aid kit. Now, sometimes a unit will tailor the kit for special activities. This might be something like hiking uh, exclusively, where it's lightweight, but it's to handle common hiking injuries, camping, and even water activities can tailor the unit's first aid kit. There are a lot of additional items that can be added or left behind for a particular activity. Now, normally, I would say prepare for every possible injury. So tailoring your unit's first aid kit for specific activities is important, but it may lose some of the focus on some other types of injuries that could occur that you did not anticipate. Again, we need to be prepared. Every unit has some adult leader that has stepped up to be the medical officer, lovingly known as Nurse Betty, Nurse Ratchet, Sawbones, what have you. This medical officer is in charge of that first aid kit, and it is important that they regularly check the equipment and make sure that the first aid kit is maintained. They need to check for expiration dates of any kind of medications or supplies in the kit and need to make sure that the treasurer of the troops committee is aware that these items need to be purchased or updated. The medical officer is also in charge of keeping all of the medical records for all of the scouts. Now, we have discussed this on other podcasts about how medical records, the medical ABC form, needs to be filled out and kept up to date annually. That's critical for summer camp and major activities. So the medical officer is directly involved with those records and tries to keep them with the unit's first aid kit. Now, usually the medical officer also takes on another role, and that is of a merit badge counselor for the first aid merit badge. Because of their knowledge and experience with medical needs, this is something that would be natural for somebody in that professional field. They can talk with the scouts about the different items that are in the unit's first aid kit. It's highly recommended that the medical officer and even the youth that are doing high adventure take the wilderness first aid courses provided by your council. This will get you prepared for those high adventure activities that may encounter some of the emergencies that might arise. Now, the unit's first aid kit, with it's in Cub Scouts, the medical records are usually kept together. And whoever the medical officer is for that pack needs to be ready and keep things up to date. In a troop or a crew, it's very similar, but the adult leader that is doing the medical activities is in charge of that equipment. If they're on an activity or a hike or a camping trip, it should be accessible by more than just the medical officer. And if the unit is splitting up into different groups, a medical kit available to each group during that activity. Now, earlier I said that scouts 
will have a personal first aid kit for their individual needs. If the scout has a need and a prescription for an inhaler or an EpiPen or something of that nature, that needs to be well known to the medical officer of the unit. And they should be able to keep those things with them for emergencies. Now, speaking of emergencies, we also need to keep any legal safety considerations in mind. The medical forms need to be available. If the scout is injured to the point where they need medical attention, they can receive it and have all the forms needed. So if they're evac'd out to a, a hospital or an emergency room, they will have all the parental consent there. The medical officer also needs to be aware of where the nearest emergency contact is, numbers to contact them, and their locations. It's important to be prepared, and the first aid kit of your unit helps you handle the challenges that may arise from activities. I highly encourage units to appoint more than one medical officer. Remember, we have to keep within youth protection training and keeping that too deep leadership at all times. We must keep and be prepared for all emergencies and have things that will provide first aid to the youth and to the adults on any camping, hiking, or activity that's out there. I'm so glad that you're listening to these podcasts and learning some new information or making sure that you're reinforcing that information. I'm so proud of you. So keep up that good hard work and I'll see you on the trail. Yeah.